Hi, so continuing on from where we left off. Um, so um, as I'm sure you're aware, there are a choice of GUIs um, <clears throat> that we can use as a front end for free radius. However, there's very little documentation for any of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly create the requirement for a GUI called Radman. Um, now you can find this on Git. Um, so you can find the documentation there. So we're just going to prepare the database for it. And the reason I'm doing this first is because the next section is configuring free radius itself and that's going to be quite a lengthy process so we're just going to get the quick videos out of the way um, for the quick bit of configuration so uh, radman requires its own little database and it requires its own table as well so um, what we'll do is we'll create that now so we go back into my sql um, we'll do it we'll, we'll get used to doing it this way Okay, so we'll put the password in. We know we can just go straight in, but we're going to do it this way. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do create database and we're going to call it Radman. Okay, so if we do show databases, we'll now see that we've got Radman in there as well. Okay, here. Okay, now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to need to create a Radman user. Uh, well, we can call it whatever we want, but we're going to call it something um, something intuitive. So we'll just call it Radman. So let's go ahead and, and, and do that part. Um, I've actually um, already written this up, so uh, it saves me having to keep type, typing it all the time. But we're going to do it in the same process as we did with... Um, uh, with radius so we're creating the user radman and the password so they're going to be identified by rad pass one as well just keep it nice and simple uh, we're going to give it its um, <clears throat> its privileges to the actual radman database that we've created okay so we're going to give it select insert update delete create alter execute um i haven't left a space there so we'll just quickly pop in a space there okay um <clears throat> we also need to give it permissions to the actual radius database so we're going to do that as well so let's give it permissions to the radius database as well so again we're doing select insert update delete execute um to the radius database um, and we're giving that to Radman as well. Okay, so we'll enter that one. And again, we need to flush the privileges. Okay, so we'll flush the privileges. And, and, and that gives us our Radman access. Now, as I said before, what we have to do is we have to create um, a table called Rad Hunt Group within the Radius database. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing we need to do is use radius. So we'll go to radius and we'll use that. Now I'm going to do this all in one hit, but I'll explain the columns to you because we've got to create the table and the columns. Okay, so I'm going to copy what I've already created over here and I'm going to paste it into here. Okay, so we're creating a table rad hunt group. We give it an ID um, 11. Um, the um, integers 11 the not null is it's going to be an auto increment okay so this should explain it all so we're going to give it a group name NAS IP address NAS port ID the primary key is going to be the ID okay and the key is the NAS IP address and then we close it at the bottom okay now um, what we need to do here is we need to just confirm a couple of points OK, uh, by the way, without this table, Radman won't work. It has to have this table. OK, so the first point is, um, was the table created correctly? Well, we're already in or using radius. So let's do a quick show tables and see if Rad Hunt Group is now in there. And there it is here. So we've inserted Rad Hunt Group, but have we got the correct columns in there that we want from this section here that we've just 
entered. So let's do a show columns. Um, and we'll do it from Rad Hunt Group. Okay, and we can see. And there we go. We have our columns. Okay, and how it's all set in here. Okay. Um, uh, and the last thing we need to do, obviously, is we need to check um, that the user Radman can access my SQL as per the user radius and as per root and see what it can see within there. Okay. Uh, I.e. what databases. So let's do my SQL minus U which is the user Radman that we've just created minus P and the password. It's the same Rad pass one. So we're in. So let's do a show databases. And as per radius, it can only see the databases we want it to be able to see. Okay, it can't see the other databases like MySQL and Sys, as an example. Okay, only the root can see that. So uh, again, we'll quit out of that. Um, and we'll clear the screen. And that's the rest of the configuration required currently from a MySQL perspective. As I said, the next lesson is going to be more lengthy because we're going to start configuring Radius D um, and we're going to have a look at some mods that we can include as well. OK, so uh, stand by for the next lesson. We'll get that on here ASAP as well so that we can get this up and running. OK, thank you.